back in the booth. I'm gonna go ahead and start back fiberglassing. Start back putting more videos out. I got this red deck. Somebody wanted me to finish up. They had started. They built it up and put the fleece on it. Then they stopped. They want me to finish it up for them. So I'm gonna fiberglass it and paint it. It's going in a 1996 SS Impala. It's like the blue green metallic. I'm gonna paint it that color. So this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna get started. We got the fiberglass resin, Evercoat. You're gonna need mixing cups, chip brushes, something to stir it with, and some protection, mask, and some gloves. We're gonna mix up some fiberglass resin and get going. First off, I'm gonna take this screen off. They got a little screen, look like a porch screen. I'm going to take it off, and once I get done, I'm going to put something else on there, because I don't like that. Plus, this here is broke, but once I fiberglass it, it's going to take care of that. I got this broken taped up with a mixing stick somewhat just to hold it in place until the resin dry because I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to resin the top side first and once it dry I'm going to come on and resin this. I just got this to hold it in place. I wish I had some bigger chip brushes, but this is all I got right now. And I don't feel like running to the store, so I'm gonna make it do what it do. But all you wanna do is just dip it in there and just throw it, brushing it on. This first coat here, it's just gonna soak it up. The next coat, gonna pretty much seal it. Then you go ahead and put your cloth or your mat on. It would have been better if they used some thinner fleece. But I ain't wanna take this off, I just kept it on. I'm gonna work with this. This is one coat of the fiberglass resin. On the fiberglass resin, on your first coat, it tend to go a lot slower than your second coat because the resin, it gotta soak into the fabric and seal it. But your second coat, it go on a lot faster. I'm gonna go ahead and let this right here then I'm coming back with my second coat. But with my second coat, I'm going to lay my fiberglass mat along with the resin. I just brought the red dick out in the sun just to speed up the drying process. It ain't that much sun, but it'll help out. A little bit.
Okay, I done put the first coat of resin down. Now it's on to the fiberglass mat. Fiberglass mat. What I usually do, I just cut some blocks out. Then I get my resin. Take it over here to my piece. Then I just I do the same thing as I did on the first coat. But I make it pretty thick so I can lay the fiberglass mat on top of it. And then I just dab it. But I usually put a bigger piece. I'm just demonstrating now. Then get to another piece. Put on the side of that. But you can get a long strip instead of cutting these small pieces. See, I got a longest piece right here. I'm going to do this long piece. I'm going to dab it so you can get the air bubbles out. But that's all you got to do. You got to cover the whole piece just like this. Then you can put two or three layers of this. All depends on how sturdy you want. But I really ain't got to put too much right here because it's solid. On the spots, I need to put some lenses up in here.
I got the rear deck sound of structure now. I put three layers of five glass mat up in here. On these lower areas, I just put two because it was pretty solid anyway. I'm gonna show you a spot here. You see that there? Them air pockets. That come from your mat getting air up under it and you ain't getting air out. You can prevent that by getting a five glass roller. But I was just using a chip brush dabbing it. But it ain't no big deal because once I knock it down, I'm gonna come back with some rundo. That's body filler mixed with some resin. That's gonna smooth the surface on out. But before I do that, I'm gonna knock these hot spots down. So it'll make my job a lot easier. I'm gonna use this here, this porter cable, DA sander, with some 80 grit sandpaper. So that's gonna knock it down, then I'll be ready for the rundo. Sanding, you want a, a DA with a variable speed. You want to put it on six because you don't want to knock too much off of it at one time. Got through knocking it down with the DA 80 grit. I built with the ends off. The next step is finding all your air pockets. It's gonna be the light spots like this here. Let me find one around here. I just seen that. Another spot here. What you want to do, you want to get to a box cutter and open them air pockets on up so you can get some bundle glass down up into that. Like that there. You want to blow your piece off first though because if you don't blow it off from that sanding it got sand and dust well it had sand and dust down in these little holes so you want to blow it off first before you start doing this some of the air pockets pretty deep so you ain't got to worry about that just the ones on on the surface Once you clear all the air pockets out with your box cutter, your next step is getting some fiberglass filler. You can either use bundle glass, you can find this at your local Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, or you can use 3M fiberglass filler. You probably have to go to an auto body store to find this. All this is is short strand and forced fiberglass filler. It's got short strand fiberglass in it. So, this is what you're going to use to fill up your air pockets. I'm, I'm going to mix some of this.
knocking the rundle down, you want to go ahead and hand sand it. The DA is just for making your job a lot easier when you hand sand it. It's not for no final sand. But I just use my old sandpaper. Then I round my ends off by hand, something like that. I just go all the way around. I knock my ends all the way around. Bevel. Then I grab me a block. It's just spin the sand. Getting it smooth. Because this is going to be the final sand before prime, the first coat of prime. You just want to make it real smooth. It's taking form now. I'm going to have to take this red deck to the uh, car and test fit it because the car ain't here. And you want to make sure you test fit it before you start priming it and painting it. Because when you fiberglass and you're building up the ends and it tend to uh, not want to fit once, once you put it in the car. So you want to test fit it before you uh, do your final paint. I'm about to spray my first coat of 2K primer on the red dick. I got to sand it down just like I want it. When I spray this primer, it's going to bring out all the imperfections. Then I'm going to repair them, then I'm going to go with another coat. But I'm going to use this Satterjet 1000 BRP to spray my primer. put down two coats of primer just to find all my imperfections you can see around here I'm gonna have to round that off because it's spread off in some spots where I did it with the block then I got pin holes up in here I don't know if you can see them pin holes pin holes I have to round my edges off too. I got a lot of pinholes. But this is what I'm gonna use. It's glazing and spot putting. This here made by USC Pronto. And this made by Bundo. 
A lot of folks don't want to use this here, but it ain't never gave me no problems. So I'm finna go ahead and cover all my spots and my pinholes, what I need to cover. I'm also gonna do up in here, which you ain't gonna see it though, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, I'm wrapping it up with the glazing spot putty. Go ahead and sand this down, and I'm gonna cut you back on. The blazing putty has dried. I'm gonna go ahead and knock it down and get it ready for my next round of primer. I just got this some 180 and a block. I'm just gonna go around my edges and round all my edges off make sure they round off good then I'm gonna take my block and do my flat surfaces then I'll be ready for some more primer I think one more round of primer gonna do it as you can see I put some bundle red glazing putty around here just to smooth it out a real thin layer just to get them dips out of it from the sander. I had used this Bundo brand this time. It sand a lot smoother than, well, a lot easier than this glazing putty here.
never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the top.